Hello everyone and welcome to the first race on my career, which is, people told me they wanted to see my career, so, uh, so here it is, I started it again, here we are in Melbourne, I've joined the Force India team, and thanks to this incident in practice, where I, where I learned the hard way, corner, a corner not to leave your DSR, DSR, DRS open for. Here we are there, open the DRS for this flat out bend, and no, that's not gone well, and I've lost that. So that incident in practice, where I did a full 360 degree spin, and then this incident resulted in me getting a 10 place grid drop as I cut the corner there to invalidate the lap, put the DRS open here, Try and get this corner right flat out. The Sauber refuses to move off the racing line. I get it all wrong. Barrier the car and get myself a 10 place grid drop. So I'm last on the grid for this race in Melbourne. But hopefully I'll be looking to make up a few spaces as the engineer gives me the finger. And he takes me off the jacks and all the things that he usually does. And I drive out onto the track. As you can see, they're subtle. They only qualified 17th, so it's a disappointing showing in qualifying from the Force Indias. But can they break that in the race? It's away time, and surely I should get the uh, overtake done on some of these bad cars. Yes, I'm flying past them. I've used curves. They, remember, don't have curves. And all the computers break very, very hard into the first corner. Just trying to avoid everyone, really. Not create too much carnage. I'm up into 16th after the first corner. Sutil there, straight ahead of me. Bashing, uh, breaking. Far, far too early, so watch for the early breakers again there and s beat them into this corner. So I'm here in 14th going 40 miles an hour. That's monumentally slow. And we're going round and the grid's starting to separate now as we go into these corners. We've got 12 laps to do. This video will be separated into two parts. As I look to get round the outside of Algar Soire, but that's not going to work into this corner. So I'm going to have to uh, take the Spaniard into the next one. And yes, I do take him there, flat out round the outside, fantastic move, and he's going to cut up Kobayashi into this corner as well, fantastic move, and he tries to do the Lotus Renault, but that hasn't worked. But that's fine, we've got uh, we've got a Sauber that isn't giving up, it's Kobayashi, which doesn't surprise me, he wants the place, but I think I've left him for dead there, which is fantastic news. So here we are, we're going through the fast chicane, go a bit wide there, get my front left a bit grassy. Grassy Rassy, which is absolutely fine. We've got a green and orange car that I'm driving. Colours of the Indian flag, as we all know. So, breaking hard here. I'm hunting down. I think that's Heidfeld ahead of me in P11. I've gone from P11 to P... I mean, P24 to P11 in one lap. And I go down the inside, but he's not having it. I should have DRS. No, I shouldn't, because it's first lap. But I should get past him anyway. I don't know. He's got more straight line speed. I'm going to get in his slipstream and try and outbreak him into the first corner. Go over the line. I've got my curves. And we've got Kobayashi coming back out the inside. And Kobayashi gives up on the chase. And I give up on trying to take him as well, because I'm not having that. But I'm going to try and take him now around the outside. But I give up on that. And I've gained a tremendous amount of time on Kobayashi in that one corner. Going around the outside of Heidfeld here. Is he, he's left him enough room. Is Heidfeld going to counter? No, he's not. And he's got the place before he even first corner. And he's now going up the inside of Petrov. Petrov bashes me wide. But he takes the corner flat out and leaves Petrov for dead. And that's two Lotus Renaults in one corner. I'm into the points in lap two. I think the computers are a bit easy. But if I put them any harder, they're just far too fast. And I can't even catch Carthur Kayan. Professional difficulty I'm on, by the way, with strict regulations. And I'm on Schumacher's gearbox as well. So, strict regulations, tyre wear on, um, fuel wear, fuel thingy on, all that stuff, all that goodness. And uh, after this lap, we should get curves for the start finish straight into sector three. We are there, as you can see, the three on the mini map, which has just gone off screen. Hunting Schumacher. Let's see what we can do to him. See what we can do to him as we come round the second to last corner. I was about to call it the final corner, and I don't know how that wasn't a corner cut. Just kept a toe on the curb as we're going to have the slipstream and a bit of curves left for this start finish straight. But that Mercedes seems to have monumental straight line speed. There's no chance there, but I've got DRS for this next lap, so it should be a clean overtake if we can keep this one second window as I get the first corner all wrong. Still no corner cut. I promise you the uh, the 
uh, the settings are on strict or whatever they're called, not reduced, realistic flags. But I'm going to try and take Schumacher there, but no, he's not having it. Shuts the door using a bit of curve. He's got half a bar left. Half a bar, it's as if I'm talking about chocolate. Uh, so, to cut that corner quite nicely, there we are. I'm still in the toe of Schumacher, but he's probably going to have the DRS of Massa ahead of him, or whichever Ferrari that is. It's a Brazilian, so it is Massa, yes. Yeah, so he's going to have D Massa's DRS for, to nibble on, so my DRS will actually give me zero advantage. But I will have... I'm saving the curves, I'm saving the curves. I need to catch him in this corner there. Cut that nicely, take out the... Uh, <laughs> the barrier and he's my engineer's giving me the push push signal so i'll push you over you stupid engineer how about you drive an f1 car and i make a reckless lunge down the inside oh, that's not gonna work so here we are <laughs> lap three coming up to the end of lap three actually as i dive down the inside that was reckless i'm gonna give him space to retake the place because that was reckless even though it's a computer, I still like to pay respects as we got DRS. But yes, you can see there, his DRS is wide open as well. He's got the DRS of the car in front, which is bad for me. So Vettel just posts the fastest lap of the race. I use the Kurs at the end of turn one. I'm all over Schumacher's rear end, and it looks like Massa's all over the rear end of the car in front of him. And I go around the outside into this corner. No contact. He's going to have the inside for this one. But no, Schumacher seems to hold it together, but he goes wide. Schumacher, and we're side by side as we come around this corner. There's a bit of contact that's there. There's nothing I can do to avoid him, but he's gone wide, and oh my god. Grassy tyres. But I hold it together. And that's fantastic news, because that could have just ended in me creaming into the Mercedes and having to make an extra pit stop. Nevertheless, I cream into the back of him a bit there, but uh, he broke far too early. So what can you say? I've got a massive about second and a half gap between me and the car behind and between Schumacher and the car in front, so I'm going to have some serious work to do once I get past him, if I get past him. He's seeming quite a difficult cookie to crack at the moment, but I've got the DRS and Kurs and everything, and now look at the closing speed. Still no cigar though, but he's cut up the inside. What a fantastic overtaking manoeuvre. We're side by side, and he cuts in, and he gives up. What a fantastic manoeuvre. Clean racing from Schumacher, which is something I didn't think I'd ever say. And I am now going to pit, no matter what, what my engineer says. Look at the state of our tyres. I'm going to now pit. And that is that for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And the next half of the race will be out soon.